I'm Carrie from Lovely Etc. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to paint wicker furniture, including dealing with any old peeling paint. I've painted multiple pieces of wicker furniture over the past decade, and I found that this method is simple and it gives really beautiful results that last well. I'm painting a pair of old rocking chairs that are looking pretty worn. As you can see, there's lots of peeling loose paint and they just generally need an update. I first painted these chairs over 10 years ago and it's definitely time for a fresh coat. Anytime you want to paint something that has peeling paint, you have to get rid of all of the loose paint first. If not, all your new paint is going to peel off right along with the old paint. So I found two tools really helpful for scraping all of the loose peeling paint off of my wicker. First of all, I used this stiff nylon brush called a stripping brush. Use it for stripping wooden furniture and it worked really well to just scrape and scrub all the peeling paint off really quickly. I also used a metal paint scraper to scrape off some of the paint. One of my rocking chairs had many many layers of really thick paint and the metal scraper worked great for getting that off. You don't have to remove all of the paint from your wicker furniture, thankfully, because that would take years. <laughs> so really, you only are trying to get off anything that's loose, peeling, flaking, um, basically any paint that's not firmly adhered. Once you've taken care of any loose paint, you need to clean your wicker furniture really well before you start actually painting. If it's outdoor furniture, you can start by just hosing it off with a garden hose, to, and then you can use a spray cleaner to really clean it well. I'll link my favorite cleaner below in the video description, but a spray bottle filled with Dawn and warm water also works great. I also found it really helpful to use an old toothbrush to really scrub in some of the surfaces where there was just lots of dust packed in little areas where I couldn't reach. Once you have everything clean, you can make any repairs you need to your wicker. I had quite a few loose ends hanging off and I just cut those off with sturdy scissors. Also, if you have loose parts that need to be glued back on, you can glue them on using wood glue. And now it's finally time to paint. Spray paint is my top paint choice for painting wicker. You can also use any other type of paint in a paint sprayer, which also works well. Um, you definitely do not want to attempt to brush paint or roll paint onto wicker. There's just way too many edges and curves and tiny spots that are going to be nearly impossible to reach. I like using spray paint rather than a paint sprayer personally because there's less to set up, a little bit less cleanup, and spray paint sticks really well and usually you won't have to use a separate primer since it's an oil-based paint. Um, and also when painting wicker I really like to use a satin paint. It gives just enough sheen to look really nice without looking overly shiny. Make sure you put down some sort of drop cloth before you get started and then shake up your paint really well. Um, you're going to want to shake your paint for a minute or so before you start painting and then every few minutes while you're painting. While you're painting your furniture, hold the spray paint six to eight inches away from the surface and keep it moving. You wanna do several light coats of paint. Do not try to do one thick coat to save time because it's just gonna end up with a drippy mess. I needed three good coats of paint to cover my chairs even though they were white before and I was painting them white again. And if you're doing a more drastic color change, you may even need to use more coats of paint. After you've painted everything, it's really important that you flip your furniture over upside down and paint at least one or two coats from the top down also. Just because of the nature of wicker, there's all these little strands woven in and out and if you're only painting from one direction, you're not going to be able to reach everything. So it may seem silly, but it makes a really big difference in how your final paint job turns out. All in all, for my two rocking chairs, I used five cans of spray paint at about four bucks each. That came to $10 a chair. It also took around an hour to do each chair. Most of the time was spent trying to deal with the peeling paint. Um, if you're not painting wicker that has peeling paint problems, that's never been painted before, then this will go so much faster because each coat of spray paint only takes maybe two minutes. Now my chairs are looking fresh and ready for lots of porch sitting. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel where I share lots of inexpensive DIY projects for creating a home you love. And if you have any wooden furniture that's ready for a makeover, I also have a free ebook that I think you'll find really helpful. It walks you step by step through how to get a really beautiful finish when painting furniture and also how to make sure that your paint finish is going to last.